Hi, I'm Ed Parsons. I'm Google's geospatial technologist. So I was in a very lucky situation in that uh, I just changed jobs and Google called me and said, do uh, you want to come and work for us? Uh, Google's very good at sort of monitoring what's going on in the marketplace, in particular specialism. So uh, that's what happened for me. Uh, and for other people, you know, people join in, in, in different ways, but almost everyone at Google is excited by, by the mission, you know, of, of making information more accessible to people. Google's great. I mean, you'd expect me to say that. And it is actually true. You are, you're given a huge amount of responsibility, even starting out in a very junior position. You're expected to um, work quite independently and develop ideas for whatever project you're working on without too much direction. And that can be a big shock for people. But then part of the process of getting a job at Google is quite a long interview process to make sure that you're that sort of person. A geospatial technologist is basically an evangelism role and an evangelist at a technology company is someone that goes out of the company, out of the organization, spends most of their time talking to people who are potentially people that might want to work with Google or government agencies who are interested in understanding, understanding policy issues. It's basically a sort of a public face. And, uh, a geospatial technologist is about Google Maps, Google Earth, um, Street View. So now over the last few years there's been a lot of you know, policy and privacy issues in those areas and I've had to, to try to deal with many of those. So it's, it's a job that's outside of, of the organisation mostly, so I don't spend a huge amount of time in the office. There is no average day and I'm sure that will be the case for most people at Google. Um, you know, you sort of turn up, I turn up to work relatively late, uh, sort of like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'll spend a fair amount of time dealing with emails and ch checking up on what's going on on the, on the web, looking at discussion boards and so on. Then I might have a few meetings during the day, either in the office or out and about. Um, and then by the time it gets to sort of late afternoon, then uh, our colleagues in America are starting to wake up and then we spend a few hours doing video conferencing. Um, so it's quite a longish day, um, but one of the things that's, I suppose, unique in many ways about how Google works is you can have that working day, but in any location really. Anywhere that there's an internet connection is your office. So it's not unusual for me to be doing some of those things you know, at my home office or at Starbucks or at a, you know, an airport somewhere, you're always connected so you can always be working and contributing. Think about what you uniquely can offer a company, uh, above and beyond what it says on your resume, you know, above and beyond the courses that you might have studied. What do you do differently? What can you do that no one else can? And that might be actually related to your hobbies, your interests, other things that you do, and the other perspectives that you can bring. Um, certainly, you know, if you're a bit uh, entrepreneurial, that can help. Or, you know, if you've got a, a specialism in a particular discipline alongside what you're studying, that can also help. It's things that make you just stand out a little bit. 